Welcome to Keep the Faith Ministry News. A Chicago mother is appealing a court order that revoked her parental visiting rights because she declined to be vaccinated against the coronavirus. When Rebecca Furlitt and her ex-husband of seven years participated in a child support hearing via video call on August 10th for the purpose of determining the terms of shared custody of their 11-year-old son, Cook County Judge James Shapiro inquired about Furlitt's vaccination status. After Furlitt told the judge she did not receive the vaccine because of adverse reactions she has had to other vaccines, he ordered her to be stripped of her parental right to visit her son until she has been vaccinated. Quote, I think that it's wrong. I think that it's dividing families. And I think it's not in my son's best interest to be away from his mother, Furlitt told local Fox affiliate WFLD. Furlitt, who has spoken with her son on the phone and through video calls, hasn't visited in person in over two weeks in compliance with the judge's order. Quote, it had nothing to do with what we were talking about, she said of her vaccination status. He was placing his views on me and taking my son away from me. Furlitt's attorney, Annette Fernoles, said the issue was not within Shapiro's purview. Quote, you have to understand the father did not even bring this issue before the court. So it's the judge on his own and making this decision that you can't see your child until you're vaccinated, Fernhol said. Jeffrey Leving, who represents the boy's father, expressed surprise by Shapiro's decision, but said they were supportive. Quote, there are children who have died because of COVID. I think every child should be safe, and I agree that the mother should be vaccinated, Leving said. In recent weeks, debates have raged about necessary protocols to prevent transmission of COVID-19 as students throughout the country prepare to return to in-person instruction in the fall. While some states, such as New York, have moved toward mandating masks in schools and implementing vaccine requirements for educators, others, including Florida, have banned the practice, which leaders say infringe on personal freedoms. The United States has experienced more than 38 million cases of COVID-19, with 52% of the population fully vaccinated against the disease, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Will some people be stripped of their parental rights for faithfully living by the Ten Commandments when laws are enacted that require obedience against their conscience of desires? Quote, When our nation shall so abjure the principles of its government as to enact a Sunday law, Protestantism will in this act join hands with popery. It will be nothing else than giving life to the tyranny which has long been eagerly watching its opportunity to spring again into active despotism. Testimonies to the Church, Volume 5, page 712. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.